the empath detectors. Empaths exist. I should know. I ensnare them regularly, draw on them for the provision of the prime aims. There are some individuals who suggest there's no such thing as an empath. That's incorrect. Empaths very much exist. Empaths belong to four schools and five cadres, are invariably made up of different categorizations from each one. On the spectrum, we have the empath group, normals, narcissistic individuals, and the narcissists. Empaths are a collection of empathic traits and narcissistic traits. Empaths are not saints. They make mistakes and they can be prone to lashing out and such behaviors often cause individuals who are empaths to believe that they are actually narcissists. You see, an empath could be verbally abusive to somebody, as could a narcissist, and you cannot determine from that one behavior alone whether somebody is one thing or the other. And there has to be a pattern of behavior that is analyzed and assessed by an expert. Many people observe that they see the way that they have behaved with regard to a particular individual and think, I'm doing the things that the narcissist does, and they end up worrying that they are indeed a narcissist. A definitive way to ascertain whether you are an empath or not, and the reasoning behind it, is to undertake the empath detector con consultation. Understanding the relevant school and cadre of empath that you belong to is an integral part of arming yourself so that you effect a get out, stay out campaign with a maximum effectiveness. Recognizing where you belong with regard to one of the four schools of empath and then the relevant cadre not only aids you in learning more about yourself and how your school and cadre attracts particular narcissists, it will weaponize you in your quest to get out and stay out and also assist you in evading narcissists in the future since it will tell you more about the factors that draw you to narcissists and which narcissists are drawn to you. This consultation is conducted through the provision of a protocol which is straightforward and provides confidentiality between the relevant parties. A questionnaire is provided which elicits a broad range of information about you and your behaviors to enable them to be analyzed and then provide you with an accurate and easy to understand response as to what you are with reference to the relevant schools and cadres if you are an empath and if you are not, why you are not, and by reference to the other classifications of individual. It is often the case that someone will declare themselves to be an empath, but there are risks and mistakes that occur through self-analysis. It may be that you are correct that you are an empath, but you may be mistaken as to school and cadre, and is often the case with many of the self-proclaimed super-empaths. Ensuring you know what you are means you will avoid the mistakes that occur with self-analysis through lacking objectivity. It will ensure that you do not embark on courses of action that are suited to different schools, and it will also enable you to plug the gaps in your own defences and achieve go-so sooner and with less effort. If you are labouring under the mistaken belief that you are a particular type of empath when you are not, and you are a different type of empath, then you need to understand that so that you can take the appropriate action and avoid putting yourself in danger. If you want to learn more about the people that have used the Empath Detector Consultation, please see the testimonial section in the link to the Empath Detector, and there you will understand more about the experience of people who've used it and found it to be of their benefit. Empaths very much exist. The empath is prized by the narcissist because of your addiction and your empathic traits, you cater to the prime aims better than any other classification of person. You are easier to ensnare. You are easier to keep ensnared. You provide us with fuel better than anybody else, and alongside that character traits and residual benefits. Because you are afflicted 
by emotional thinking, this causes you to do things which result in you missing red flags. This causes you to do things which mean that it's easier to rope you in in the first place and then to maintain control over you. The empath exists very much and, as a consequence of this, it is important for you to understand whether you are one or not. Many victims of narcissists are indeed empaths, as you are the ones that we target. And to suggest that you don't exist is incorrect and unhelpful. You do exist because you exhibit a wide range of emotional empathy to a wide range of individuals. You have significant empathic and narcissistic traits, but your empathic traits outweigh your narcissistic ones. And as part of getting to understand who you are and defending yourself better, having undertaken the empath detector test, you may also wish to consider the trait detector consultation. What this does is ascertain which of the 10 empathic traits you have and in the varying amounts, and also which of the 10 narcissistic traits that you have and within the relevant amounts. And therefore, you may recognize that you do have certain narcissistic behaviors, and you may be concerned about whether they are healthy or unhealthy. By undertaking the trait detector, you will then be able to ascertain that you indeed have certain traits that are narcissistic, and you can identify which ones are impacting upon you. Is it the case that your emotional thinking is corrupting your emotional trait of pride, or is it vanity, or is it anger? Also, which of your empathic traits are being corrupted to cause you to behave in a particular way? Is it the love devotee trait, the desire to heal and fix, or compassion? It is important to ascertain how significant your empathic traits are, how significant your narcissistic traits are, how they operate in conjunction with one another, and then which are the strongest ones. Because your emotional thinking will look to corrupt the most the strongest of your traits in order to make you breach your no contact and commit mistakes. You need to know that as an empath, having established that through the empath detector consultation, that you are a collection of empathic and narcissistic traits. You need to know what those traits are. You may still be ensnared, seeking to escape. You may have escaped and be fending off the initial Grand Hoover and or follow-up Hoovers. You may be on the shelf and tackling the pickup put me down dynamic. You may have been disengaged from and are dealing with the aftermath. You may be dealing with a malice campaign. You may be caught in ongoing interactions, making total no contact harder than usual. You may be trying to keep the narcissist at bay. You may be trying to deal with purging the effects of the narcissist from your life. Those scenarios and others besides all have one thing in common, emotional thinking, the enemy within. Emotional thinking will always seek to exploit what you are to feed your innate addiction to the narcissist. This addiction is lifelong and poses a constant threat, but is one which can be managed and managed successfully. To achieve this, you need to know what it is about you that is at risk from exploitation from your emotional thinking. If you do not know, then how on earth can you go so? Will the fact that you are an empathic truth seeker prove to be your undoing? Perhaps your narcissistic sense of pride will cause continued conflict with the narcissist. Might your compassion be used against you to draw you back in? Maybe the empathic trait of guilt will be harnessed. Then again, it could be the narcissistic trait of infidelity which lures you back. There is a wide range of empathic and narcissistic traits. Which ones are applicable to you and which one are not? Whether it is past, current or future ensnarement, you need to be armed to defeat your emotional thinking and the lurking narcissist that is drawn to your empathic status. Utilize the trait detector consultation using the link in the video description to understand what your empathic and narcissistic traits are and ascertain what it is about you that is the most vulnerable to exploitation by your emotional thinking so that you can then address and tackle it and then in turn beat the narcissist. Thereafter, you can turn your attention to the weaponized empath detector. Are you a weaponized empath?
or do you have further work to do? The Weaponized Empath addresses a wide variety of matters, issues and situations to ascertain what you have learned, to ascertain how you're applying that, and to help you identify both areas of congratulation and areas which require improvement to secure your freedom from the narcissist and, moreover, to maintain it. The Weaponized Empath Consultation focuses on ascertaining the depths of your knowledge, understanding and application with regard to narcissists, narcissism, the no-contact regime and the war against emotional thinking. It is important to test your progress, to know what has been achieved, what needs to be maintained and what else needs to be done. A specifically designed and engineered questionnaire has been designed over time to ask the key questions of you and from your responses, utilize an algorithm to determine if you've become a weaponized empath and if you have, which one? Are you the tower? Perhaps you are the warrior, maybe the phoenix or one of many other categories. Using the link in the video description, utilize the weaponized empath to learn more about yourself, where you are in terms of your level of knowledge, your no contact regime and areas of susceptibility that can be addressed and protected and strengthened. The Empath Detectors have been designed for your use to help you. If you wish to understand the experience of others who've utilised these, do go to the testimonials which you will find in the menu bar at narcsite.com. There you will read a range of experiences of individuals who have undertaken both the Empath Detector, the Trait Detector and Weaponised Empath Consultations. If you have any queries about them and would like further information and guidance, please don't hesitate to contact me by email at narcissist1909 at gmail.com and I'll be pleased to assist you further. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.